trouble Tom. Yeah, Ryan, what, what do you think just plagued the offense tonight and the inability to, to get in the end zone? Um, you, you know, especially early, um, you know, we had self-inflicted wounds on, on early downs, like the negative yardage on early downs. Um, I thought we were able to move the ball, especially on the ground. Um, you know, we have a false start or, or a uh, misread where, you know, we, we keep it instead of give it and you take a negative uh, yardage play. Um, the, now you got, you know, third and, third and long. Those are hard to, hard to, um, to get, especially against a talented team. Alex, you're playing a, a very good Oregon team. Um, just kind of assess Brian Brown from last week to this week. Yeah, um, you know, the, there were some mistakes early. Um, I did. I thought he, he played hard. Um, I thought he, he operated the offense well. Um, you know, but did he play perfect? No, absolutely. he didn't. You know what I mean? And, you know, some of the plays that he made a week ago um, just weren't able to make those type of plays because of the type of opponent we're playing. Um, but he'll grow. Obviously, he's a, he's a redshirt freshman in his second start, you know, in a – you know, obviously disappointed with the um, the atmosphere of the game and and all that was available uh, from an opportunity standpoint. You know, I thought again our our fans showed up and showed out. You know, it was a, a beautiful night um, and a beautiful stage to do something special. And I'm just disappointed we weren't able to get that done. What's the plan for the bye week? Uh, well, we got to get them tomorrow off because of the short week. Uh, we'll get it on Sunday, put the game to bed, and, and watch the tape. Uh, we'll practice early next week to get a jump start on Northwestern and and you know add some some new wrinkles here and there on offense and defense. Um, and then at the end of the week, we'll get out on the road recruiting. Um, what was Hudson's status by the end of the week? Was he not cleared at all? Was he not cleared in time to get ready for? Yeah, just not cleared in time. Um, you know, he's he wasn't in the full clearance of the protocol. Um, he's doing fine now though, and so we expect him to be available next. Next time we play, and you see that as a, a two quarterback situation still, or is that a decision that has to be made? Uh, you know, you know, we gotta let's let's get through the week, and and we'll uh, we'll evaluate it. You talked earlier this week about the process that you went through to to get to where you were calling plays. Was the offensive playbook more open this week? Are you adding things, um, and is that going to, I guess, continue that way? Yeah, we'll continue to add wrinkles um, as we go. You know, based on what. That our opponent presents as as maybe things that we can try to attack or exploit. Um, you know, we do we get C.J. Smith back next week. I think that'll be uh, that'll be huge for us. Um, you know, we just gotta continue to execute, man. Like, like I said, I thought we were able to move the ball um, when we were when we were clean. You know, just couldn't couldn't convert on some of the third and longers, and, and definitely can't take negative yards plays and early downs. Ryan, second game called the plays on offense. Did it feel more smooth? Did it feel more natural? Kind of how do you evaluate yourself in that aspect tonight? Yeah, you know, I, I felt um, I felt comfortable in, in being able to get to the calls that I wanted to get to. Um, you know, I'll, I'll continue to get better. I, we, I, I'm very uh, thankful for the offensive staff and, and some of the ideas that they're presenting and. Uh, the communication on uh, game day, um, you know, but you know, we, we had zero points today, so you know, obviously didn't didn't do a good job. And then Corey Stewart went down late. I know late in the game. Uh, any idea of I think he's okay. Yeah, I think he's okay. After some of the losses you've had this year, how do you convince your players to just keep buying in? Trust the process and move forward. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not like I'm, I haven't needed to like beg them to continue to play or continue to be um, bought in. I think you know when you have failures, you need to be able to point to why you failed and come up with solutions on how to improve. Um, I think when you can do that and and, and point at something tangible, it, it gives. Um, a sense of hope and, and an explanation on how to how to get better. Um, you know, this you know, we got a, a group of guys that that are prideful and uh, want to go compete and want to go play. So, like, I'm, you know, we're not having to beg them to to go prepare, go practice, or, or go play. Do you think you you have the right answers on offense right now, or are you still searching? 
Uh, you know, um, obviously, like we just we had a, an explosive output last week against a really good opponent. We just played the number two team in the country. Um, you know, we got a lot of young guys that are playing as well. Um, and you know, thought like I said, we were able to, to move the ball. It's just we we were what on third down, four or twelve on third down, and and. Um, and yeah, we took negative yardage plays early, you know what I mean? So I think we we got the pieces. I, I think, um, you know, we'll we'll come up with more answers as we go to diversify what we're doing, especially in the throw game. Um, and we'll continue to improve. Go back to Tom. Yeah, Ryan, just the, the, the slow starts continue. Um, I think just seven points in the first quarter. I don't think you scored in the first quarter the last five games. I mean, I don't seem like we talk about it every week, but – I guess you always wonder, is there a solution to it? Uh, I mean, you got to execute. Like that first, the first drive, uh, we were moving the ball, and then you know took a, we had a false start, and, and now all of a sudden you're behind the chains. You can't do that um, when you're trying to when you're trying to start a drive. Um, so you know we'll we'll see to look at it as a staff and to emphasize you know, the importance of, of starting fast, uh, but you can't. Can't take negative yards plays, can't have penalties on opening drives. And Nylon Green was out tonight. Can you elaborate at all? It was his, his foot acting up again? And no, it's not his foot. Um, it was, he had a pretty significant injury, and you know his status is, is kind of up in the air right now. For the rest of the year? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. Brian, when it comes to some of the pre snap penalties, how do you guys go about fixing those? Uh, yeah, well, we, you know, I think the part of the issue today, tonight, um, with some of the the snap operations, um, you know, we were doing a lot of shifting and moving, and, and so they were communicating a lot. And so, um, you know, maybe we look at you know, how how our cadence is and, and um, how we can sort of clean that up um, to not go on on the defensive side. And I think that was what what was getting us tonight. Obviously, Ryan has uh, sparked your running game a bit, but where is his drop back pass in terms of his capabilities of completing the offense, so to speak? Uh, you know, I thought he dropped back pass really well a week ago. Um, you know, there, there was a, a number of reasons why you know, the drop back game sort of wasn't there tonight. Um, you know, whether it was the time he had or the, you know, people being open. Um, you know, and again, he's a he's a redshirt freshman with in, in his second start. Yeah. Um, so there's going to be a learning curve there. I know he had a, a great week a week ago, um, but he's he's still a redshirt freshman, and and he'll continue to improve. That um, bye week timeline that you laid out before, have the circumstances changed at all? What what you're trying to accomplish in that week, as opposed to what maybe you would have planned to do in that week? In terms of, of why would the certain anything change? you're addressing or the time you're spending it at different things, I, I don't know. I mean, we're gonna stick to our process. I'm, I'm, I'm confused why why we would change our process. I just based. I'm just asking if it would be different than what you would have done in, in another off week. I don't. I don't... No, we're, it's a bye week. We'll stick to our bye week plan. More questions for coach. All right, thank you, Coach. Well played in shortly.